Spanky Payne and co-host Al Reardon at the beautiful Spanky's Dive Bar. <laughs>
just got to see uh, the Road Trash Band. We would have done their other band, but we're afraid of copyright infringement because of nice uh, YouTube. Uh, we are on the Spanky Payne. What the fuck is this called again? This is Let's Chat. Let's Chat with Spanky Payne, co host Al. We got the Road Trash Band here. Yeah, they rocked out. Right? That's <laughs> rock and roll, kids. I'm telling you. Great. Well, we Thank you. So we'll, you know, we'll start out with a. If you could introduce all uh, yourself. Uh, Who are you guys? What are you doing here? Well, I'm an asshole. He's an asshole. <laughs> and that leaves a uh, bitch, a uh, fuckhead. Oh, no. This is Dan. <laughs> Chris. Seth. Bernie. Good to have you. Good to have you. Where are you guys all from? Thank you. Where are you guys all from? Our mothers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. For well. Sure. Uh, like local area. Bernie's local. Bernie lives Bernie, in the Yeah. BF. BF. And BF uh, the rest of us are like uh, around Island. White River Junction Island. area. Island. Yeah. Island. Yeah. So you probably know of uh, River City Rebels. Oh, yeah. 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 We know Dan. Yeah. <laughs> I remember booking him back. We booked him for the Rutland shows back in the day with My Chemical Romance. Huh? Oh, yeah. That yeah, was before they were big. They suck. They do <laughs> suck. I was just gonna say yeah, that. They're they not good. All right. What well, you got? What do you want to ask? I, I want to ask this whole list. I want to ask a couple questions. <clears throat> All these things I'm personally curious about. You, you know, uh, you obviously didn't start playing together yesterday. There's a little bit of history there. Want to tell us a little bit about that? Uh, you guys have met before. We've met soon. Once. <laughs> At a bar. At this bar. I met well, him, yeah. the I met him in the bar. locker room, he actually. There. Oh, yeah. In the locker room? Yep. Did, High did. school locker room? Yeah, yeah. He did, yeah. Yep. I was about 15. Being stuffed in a locker. <laughs> no kidding. And you were the same? Wait, 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 no, no. Was, you were the laughing. stuffer? No, he was a big fat laughing. kid they were picking on. Yeah. He had long, <laughs> he had long <laughs> hair. <laughs> you got stuffed in a locker yeah. too? Oh, yeah. No, I, I did. Uh, I did too. I wouldn't fit a locker times. back then. Are you kidding? Yeah. <laughs> I got stuffed in a locker in seventh grade. I need a closet back then. <laughs> wow. My first year in high school, I got I was, stuffed I would guess I was never a stuffy or a stuffer when it came to lockers. I didn't stuff anything in high school either. I was a punk kid. True story. And the rednecks didn't like me. So, uh, Bernie, Bells Falls, that area, there's a little bit of local music going on there. Have yeah. You ever, uh, yeah. You go to, you know, Flatiron or uh, maybe even Mole Hill Theater. Have you been there? In oh, yeah. That's a I great just played there a uh, couple months ago with Vehicle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A benefit for Jim Peterson. Yeah. That's a great venue over yeah. there. Yeah, I think they're doing a good job. I wish I had more. Kind of cool with all the old machinery. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I wish it was like that's my dream bar to like to own there. I would love to own that place. Yeah, but I'm stuck with the small building. Just gotta start somewhere. Everybody. Uh, so, uh, how long have you guys been together? Uh, six, six years. years. Six I met years Bernie. Um, I worked in Windsor at a undisclosed location. Secret, super secret <laughs> location. <laughs> and I, I, met, I met Bernie. Could be in Windsor. And uh, it was funny because he came up to me one day and I was in a phase where Seth and I had uh, been friends for you know, like since we were 15 and we played music for about 20 years. And, and one day this old guy, Bernie, comes up to me and goes, hey, okay. uh, maybe we should... Uh, Jam sometime, and I'm thinking to myself, "Fuck it." With <laughs> okay, yeah, you're, you're yeah. gonna want to come jam Metallica, yeah. in God's back, and all this shit. Yeah, yeah. I get the same shit myself. And uh, I, I cast him aside, and uh, I ended up playing at a barbecue. Yeah, with him with up at Neil's, right? At my yeah. fiance's parents' house. Uh, at uh, and at the time, I hadn't really known Bernie much, and he, he showed up there, and, and they said, oh, bring your guitar, and I brought my guitar, and Bernie shows up, and he brought his guitar, and I know, like, three fucking notes at that point. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we just, we started jamming a little bit, and by the end of the day, I was like, uh, so, let's, uh, let's do a band. <laughs> yeah, well, it was gonna be, you said, Oh, I do this party every year up yeah. at Glover. You want to play? And it was going to be one gig. And I was like, because I kind of stopped playing for a while. And I was like, yeah, sure. He goes, it's a hundred bucks. Yeah. Man, I was Up like, in the yeah. Northeast Kingdom, out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so it was going to be one gig. Well, then, that's Labor Day weekend. What was it, two weeks before that? 
we played this biker party up in Concord. Back to the basics. Back to the basics. Gigi Allen land. Yeah. First, yeah. first time we played as a band, big stage, big PA, the whole works. It's like, well, jump in at the deep end. So either the, either the one gig's still going on or, or it's a band. <laughs> Yeah, seems like yeah. it's a band. Yeah, yeah. it uh, it took uh, my co- we've had you know several uh, band member changes, and we have a uh, never ending, spontaneously combusting fucking drummer. Yeah, <laughs> which yeah. seems we've we've made it six years without a steady guy. They they come, and they, and I'm a drummer of thirty years. Yeah, so you're a little crazy. And I have a thing. <laughs> you know, well, there's, a certain, you there's a certain yeah. thing that we're going for, and uh, I refuse to compromise. Um, <laughs> he does. Go, he really well, refuses I, to compromise. I, 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 should I, see I, it. I can be hard. <laughs> I try not to be, but I, I, we have a certain thing that we well, do. Well, that must be you're good, then. And, uh, I don't know. No, you don't, you don't have to be good. You have to just know how to hit a fucking drum. Yeah. Like, like not like this. Like, fucking hit it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It's yeah. not rocket science. <laughs> but um, well, there are those that do and those that don't. <laughs> we have had a few good friends help us out too, which thank God for them. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to have to chime in and agree on the no compromise thing. I mean, that means to me that you know what you want to hear and you know what you want the band to sound like. I don't know uh, if the whole world wants to, but it's what I want. Well, to hear. you can't go with what the whole world wants. You got to go with what you want. Maybe they like it and fuck them if they don't. know that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I've gotten. That's I'm right. getting. I'm not as young as I used to be, and that's definitely yeah. my. My, uh, my outlook. <laughs> it's like driving a hearse. It's not it, for everybody, but, but it's some people do it. A couple of people in this room it's, have. Yes. Yeah. Dan, Spanky. The band was rocking the hearse for a while. Yeah, we ran it, it for car. about three years. That was yeah, our band. That was wagon. cool. Yeah. Windsor people know. They've seen I saw it. When I saw you guys, that, you had the hearse. Yeah, my, hair, my old hearse is in Windsor, too. Yeah, Windsor has a thing yeah. for attracting the dead. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I don't know. What's your favorite band you've ever played with? Whoa. Scissor Fight in Mercilago. Uh, we played Higher Ground in Burlington two summers ago, and it was a total ball. Those guys are all genuine people. Uh, no rock star douchebag shit. They're cool. just they're, they're they, the real deal, and they, they fucking rock. kick ass. They and higher ground, you know, there's a higher ground date coming up. True, yes, yes. June thirtieth. June thirtieth. Right that one down. Scissor fight in Marcella. I got a great DJ venue. wedding that night. Oh. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to find somebody for that. Great venue you. too. Yeah. Higher must, ground. Must say, yeah. Yeah. Really, if you're, it, they treat you real well. Yeah. Hard rock is That's alive and well. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, with between yeah. scissor fight and Marcelago. Uh, there's this Mercilago has two guitar players and they, they use old Marshall amps and Les Pauls, SGs and they are not afraid Shy. of volume <laughs> no. good. That's and it, good. it will blow your wig back so it's uh, definitely worth June 30th at higher ground the song's called Iron and Ash
tonight, tonight the inside scoop is we have one host with conjunctivitis in the eye, a lead singer <laughs> with a double ear infection, and a, and a head just, of a tick, and a head of a tick and problem. A, and I yeah. just would like to clear up the rest of it. Is there anything that. else we all should really know about before we continue here? Bernie? Bernie? <laughs> Pull out the list. Yeah. Get a list. No, we're good. List we don't of, care. And that's why we're here. Yeah. This is, this well, is I guess that's the point. But I, can't yeah. read my, I can't read my <laughs> chicken scratch. Just... Drive that's the point. Is that's, uh, that's, coming that's, down, rocking it out, anyway, showing off. Raunchy toe jam, dude. Get, get done. <laughs> <laughs> Some that's, funny fungi. That's really why I did come tonight because I feel horrible. <laughs> and uh, I was yeah, on the I was kid. on the fence. I can't hear out of one side of my head. And I said, you know what? I've played uh, one. Of the hardest gig was a New Year's Eve gig at a, a bar in Newport, New Hampshire. And I had full blown flu. Yeah. And some of our gear wasn't working properly. It, we would have like losing volume and stuff in there, and it just was not pretty. And I Sometimes just said, just "You call. have to do it." Like that's a that's a yeah. It's, there's people that do trooping. It, people that don't. Trooping. <laughs> it's yeah. the same with our band. We never yeah. in the 20 years we never missed a show. Yeah, you got to do Even it. Even no matter how we felt. So I've heard uh, <laughs> I've heard your music described as I'm I'm listening to you earlier. I'm trying to oh, think you know man. how my would I describe this you know but I've heard it you know rock cow punk thunder boogie. Uh, is this your description of it or is this someone else's? Uh, or? I, I've seen those names pop up here and there, and uh, I definitely feel myself. <coughs> that's probably where we fall because uh, two of my very favorite bands, three. Uh, Leonard Skinner. I was hearing a little bit of that. Black Sabbath and Social Distortion. Yep. Yep. And we oh, aren't so there. heavy as Black Sabbath, but we definitely have a countryish swagger. Yeah. You yeah. know, it, there, there's a there's a hillbilly thing in there a little yeah. bit. It's well, a bunch of, uh, yeah, it's subtle. But yeah, it's, songs, it's, mountain. it's mountain. It's mountain music. Yeah. You know, it yeah. Sense. Just a little dirtier. You know. Working for me. It's like yeah. fucking fog hat, man. <laughs> You know? I did see them way back in the day. Got the hat, just a black hat says fog on it. It's like twenty bucks. <laughs> uh, they were freaking cheap, loud too. This was at a time they were it was like a contest to see who could have they would say, Oh, our system has this much power, our system has this much power and at that time I saw them at, in Providence. And I saw uh, uh, Van Halen in uh, the Cape Cod Coliseum. Roth, it's kind of small. Roth. Ooh. And uh, it, that was. Can we hit the Roth notes? <laughs> no. I do not. No. Is anybody a fan of Sammy Hagar? Yes. I like, yeah. I, 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 like, I like the right now. That was okay, man. But, but I like the yeah. I like Roth. Roth, 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 was, yeah. Yeah. Roth was a oh, fucking What an ass. Yes, douchebag. I like some Hagar that isn't deal. Van Hagar. Fair. You know, just Sammy. Roth, Roth did thing. Uh, Roth had a, a, a way about him that just he's things. an asshole, and it's cool for him to be. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he had the asshole license for a while. Yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna? He can cool? fucking yeah. kick over his head. He yeah. can do whatever the hell he wants. So I was also hearing some stories. Seems we got some bigger names come up. What was it he played with? Bernie was has a little history there. Joe yeah. Walls. Bernie, Joe some Walls. of us have been around the block a few times. Yeah. And yeah. Bernie's one of them. And uh, somebody else. And Bernie, <laughs> the guys were telling me about Bernie playing with Joe Walsh. Yeah. It was, uh, we were, I was playing in vehicle. We were down in Bells Falls. And the keyboard player in the band, Joe Walsh had a house out in Saxons River. And Lance... The keyboard player was his caretaker. You yeah. know? And he'd come up, and, you know, we always said, ah, you ought to get him to come out and hear the band. And he's like, yeah, well, you know. Yeah, busy guy. Well, everything kind of lined up on this one weekend, and he was there, and we used to play Thursday, Friday, Saturday down there. And we thought, well, he'll come Thursday when it's a little quieter. Didn't show up, finally shows up Saturday. And uh, we got him up on stage, and Good. he played so uh, That's pretty three cool. song, three songs, four songs with us. Sweet, sweet. The coolest thing was uh, I remember Lance saying, "Well, yeah, let's do, uh, let's start. We'll just do Johnny Be Good." And he goes, "It hey, just tell him what you want him to do." And I, 
turned to Joe Walsh and I'm like, I'm gonna tell I'll Joe take Walsh the first, what to do. I'll take the first little, you take the second. He's like, okay, good. And I turned back around and I'm thinking, what? I what just, did I just say? I just told Joe Walsh. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So we're gonna go take a commercial break and yeah, word from our word sponsor. Word from our sponsor. <laughs> That was a word from our sponsors. Make sure you go to that dance. It's going to be a good time. Yeah. Me, I'm going to DJ. To Sport Park in the Park. Uh, so we got Presley Payne wants to ask a few questions to Road Trash. What is your favorite song to play? Good question, oh, Presley. Boy. I'm sure that's different for each of us, so I guess we can each. There you go. Yeah, give an person. answer. Yeah, I like Train Train. Oh, it's right up there. Song. Not one of ours. Yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> no, those don't count. Classic though. They certainly I like, don't. I like that. Oh no. They do. I like it where we do it in the beginning of the night. It just like gets it kicks it. Start. It's, it's the train going. Yeah. One thing. It, like it shifts gears. That we like the drag yeah, race. Yeah. Uh, don't blame the hearse for me. I think. Yeah. I just like. Gotta drip that up to me. Yeah. For originals, I like uh, uh, Bonnie and Clyde. That's my favorite one to play. Oh. Um, covers uh, Machine Gun Blues is a, lot, is a lot of fun. Yeah, I like I like the Iron and Ash tune because it's different. Yeah. Actually, uh, you were saying there was a pretty good story to that. Yeah, um, 1887 uh, in Hartford, uh, West Hartford Bridge in Vermont. It was the worst uh, railroad disaster in history ever in the state. And there was it was uh, on February 5th, 1887. It was at 2:30 in the morning. There were two trains. One was coming from Boston. Another one was coming from maybe New York. I, I Montreal, forget. maybe. They were they connected together and were headed for Montreal. Ah. And they got about three miles outside of White River, and it was negative twenty out. And they hit. They had walked the tracks the day before. There was a curve and then a bridge. And back in the day, the Bridges were actually covered bridges that were turned upside down and the tracks were laid across them. And the crew had gone out the day before to inspect the tracks because that train, they were headed to the Winter Carnival up in Montreal. They inspected the tracks, didn't notice anything. And either that or it was too cold. And they were like, screw this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, but um, there was a cracked rail. The train came around the corner, hit the cracked rail, and it went across the bridge. And the last three, four coaches, the black one flipped and went over the bridge and it dragged four of them down and it crashed onto the ice. And back in the day, they had um, like these little wood stoves in, in the cars. The sure. And that immediately caught everything on fire. And um, a lot of people, 37 people died. That's the number that keeps popping up most. There's a little yeah. discrepancy there, but. Yeah. Um, you know, a bunch of them ended up going through the hole in the ice and drowning. 
and most, that's in mayhem is a great and, and a lot of song. it was instant yeah they were they were i i write my best with that stuff yeah. don't ask me why i, I don't, don't know, know why but, Keep but I, it's it's cool and that and that's a story i think that needs to be uh people should know about that because that was a terrible thing and that actually shifted the railroad to go full electric everything huh. down yep. the road but um including the heaters yeah <laughs> yeah yep. wow but it's it's quite a story, and they say. Well, now they know. So they listen, say you listen to the song, you'll know it all. Uh, the song's actually about um, a little boy that supposedly could have died down there during that time. Uh, they see him. People will drive by and say they've seen this little kid, and he looks like he's dressed like in that time period. He has like little short pants yeah. and suspenders, little hat and stuff. And they said it's weird because they usually see him. Uh, they, they don't realize what they've seen. They drive by, and but they said it's weird because it looks like he's like three feet above the water. Yeah. Because back at the time, the ice was probably that high. Yeah, the and yeah, they said you the can ice. smell weird stuff down there. And I've been by there several times. I live not far from there. Huh. And uh, it's a creepy feeling place when you go by there. No yeah. doubt. It's a strange. Sounds like pretty strong. Have you ever seen the Three Men and a Baby? A long time mm-hmm. ago. <laughs> There's a ghost in that movie. They say, like he was a kid. Oh, bullied. standing behind the curtain. Standing behind the curtain. Yes. The gun was on the thing, and yep. I watched that freaking thing over and over again, <laughs> and rewound it. It's like it's unless someone like played a game, and then that was pretty blunt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's pretty weird. In the ironic, uh, creepy YouTube video that goes right along with your... Yeah, it was strange. I, a good friend of mine, uh, Bernie Lanou from Backwoods Boogie Studio, helped me record this song. We have not yet released it, but we have it recorded. I have to send it out to be mastered and finalized, and we got to do all the jazz. And we just came up with four, uh, four more originals as of like this past weekend. Wow. And now I got to write words for those, but we hopefully will put that all together sometime, you know, over the next like year. Is that how it usually cool. happens for you? That uh, you have music and then you put words to it, or is it both ways? Yeah, the other? It, it, I don't. I don't write. So I'm not a songwriter. I yep. just. I just. Um, I play drums and guitar, and I can play a little bass. So I come up with things. Yeah. I know what's in my head, right? And then something to either with. he comes up with something or I come up with something. And his, he's meat and potatoes with all the riffs. It's stuff. I'm I'm a, I'm the world's shittiest guitar player. So he uh, he comes up with these real cool basic rock and roll things yeah. that uh, you, sure you don't have to be a genius. It's about fe- music. Is about listening and feeling. Ultimately, you can read all the shit you want. It, don't, it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you matter. don't feel it, it doesn't count. Right. So, <laughs> and that's uh, why we've had some, so many drummers, because some of these guys don't get it. This guy gets it big time. That's why he's sitting here. Yep. <laughs> when I turn around, For sure. Here, yeah. 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 Do, uh, what do you think about when you're alone in the car? <laughs> oh, that's pretty random. <laughs> Oh, that's uh, the fifth. That's a, <laughs> that is a good plethora of stuff, man. <laughs> Any given day, I'd probably be arrested. Yeah, yeah. yeah, another fifth. Yes. Right. Psych ward for a minute. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I, I yeah. talk to myself. Yeah, I sing to myself. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Most days wow. I think about how I can get this freaking thing to the next. Well, wow. yeah, I think about when Dan's gonna get this friggin' thing off the duck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> let's go. We we'll get a record in. Yeah. Yeah. What the yeah. fuck's going on? I don't care now about are, that. I just we want. Are to you play. down with OPP? <laughs> you know me. <laughs> 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 a lot of time on the road, you know, being a band, going to gigs, all the rest of it, and you guys traveled here tonight. Appreciate but, it. From it's funny because directions. you always think about the tour bus and all that crap. <laughs> yeah. But really, yeah, it's we're our own roadies. The we're our own car. road crew. Yeah. We're the guy. We're always at like a, you're alone driving home at the end of the night. Like yeah. we do, you know, we keep. That's part of the beauty of this. The package is really small. Yep. So we don't have. Right. We don't pay like roadies and all that stuff because. No. Right. We're Came still here, at the stage up, where boom, we can uh, run right. the show ourselves. You know, it, it, it would be nice, though, wouldn't it? It would be awesome. <laughs> it would be awesome. What's the furthest you've, tuned, what's the furthest you've traveled uh, for a gig? 
<laughs> I don't know. We don't get. We're trying to get further down into Mass and Maine. Yeah. But we played Worcester a couple of times. That that's that's about it's a good scene. Freaking three three and a half hours yeah. from where we are. Yeah. What, now, what's your favorite scene you've ever played? Home. Higher ground's pretty cool. Yeah, it was um, cool. Yeah, yeah, we, that was fun. We played a, a gig that didn't really necessarily go our way down at a really cool bar. <laughs> that happens. Called uh, Ralph's Rock Diner, and that yeah, place, oh, that, that place, place, I've heard of that place is that uh, place. quite legendary. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, I would love to go back there, but uh, Higher Ground was pretty cool. We gotta give props to the Windsor Station. Windsor though. Station is like kind of. Windsor Station is like. Windsor Station is where it's at. I'm gonna do a story on the Windsor Station. Kind of practice it's coming up. There. Uh, so, I work at Windsor home. Station. Yep. First, saw you, first saw you guys at Windsor Station. Yeah. Yeah. I love it there. I saw you at the Clarence at Windsor. That's a small. It, 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 you know, it, it's not really a music venue. No, but, but they, they have a good job. made it one. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, it's really I'm tiny. I'm very happy. Well, that we went we a couple of weeks ago. Let me see the break maids. We saw the break maids. Yeah. Uh, and Lake we were Lake the Superior. first rock band we, to go in there. We yeah. kind of helped. Lake Superior that break going, maids are which badass is cool. too. Oh it's yeah, very honored. Fill, yeah. Filling station up in White sure. was great. Oh yeah, that's cool. That holds about little fifty. You, you said random shit. Yeah, give me random shit. Does pineapple belong on pizza? Absolutely. No. Fuck no. no. Fuck no. you for saying that. Three no's and a yes. <laughs> I, I'm a pineapple on pizza. The point of that right. question oh, was, was to man, see who was going to fight him. <laughs> What's your worst show or pet peeve about shows? Oh. I love the, uh, and I'm going to bust his balls because I... <laughs> because they're on your shoulders. That's cool, cause because I'll bust his afterwards. My... <laughs> I'll bust his afterwards. It's fine. Bands that have... Have the music stand up. Rock band, rock band, music stand up, iPad Wait. on top of the music stand. My question is... And you're going to play a gig and you're expecting to get paid money to do this, but it's not like a... It ain't fucking rock and roll. <laughs> Anyway, you slice it. <laughs> Worst gig. Are you talking about Aerosmith? Worst yeah. gig. Yeah. Yeah. Worst gig was down as Londonderry. Londonderry, Londonderry from New Hampshire. New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Uh, oh. It yeah. took Nine forever Nine. to get there. Yeah. It was a kind of uh, not near uh, anything. It was a showcase. <laughs> it was a fucking night with multiple stages and lights and all this shit. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> this guy hooked me. Uh, hit me up on Facebook and goes, oh. Uh, I booked these showcases. I'd love to have you come down. I'll make you guys the headliner. Uh, I got four or five other bands from the Mass, Nashua area coming up. And I'm like, oh wow, this could be kind of cool. Okay. So I talked these guys into doing it. And uh, he sent me pictures, like detailed pictures of what the stages look like, the lights and all the stuff. I was like, this is gonna be legit. We get down there and it is a fucking Grange Hall out in the middle of fucking nowhere. No shit. Yeah? And no uh, shit. you have a more legit sound system. Than we go in. Yeah, that's pretty bad. And this meth head comes out to us and it's like, oh, hey, how's it going? Oh, this, is, this is gonna be great. We got the show inside and everything. Well, I couldn't really get the stage I couldn't really get the lights. I couldn't really get. Where'd you take pictures of? <laughs> um, so this is this is where we're having it. We go inside and it's this old Grange Hall with, with a stage and nothing else. And there's like <laughs> five bands of shit. You know, high school kids. Yeah, you don't yeah. Uh, with all their girlfriends, <laughs> and that's yeah. it. Yeah, and that's yeah. it. Playing and, free time. Uh, you play shows like that. Yeah, and no light. That like it was just regular. Yeah, the we've sound all, you know, we've outside. all been there. Yeah, yeah. but you guys were yeah. the headliner. It was yeah, the headliner. Everybody's gone by that, that time. Headliner. And they were <laughs> headliner <laughs> to no one. <laughs> Absolutely. The sound guy tried running things from outside the room With his, on an iPad. On an iPad. <laughs> That's how he, he was out. I remember when the headliner used to be like something cool. Right. Like, but it's usually you stay like, all night you're like, to see it. You stay all night, watch every fucking band, yeah. and then every band didn't stay to watch you. Yeah, yeah. Was, absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. absolutely. Like, fuck and you. that's how it should be. Yeah. And that's Time what out, I Timmy, I noticed last Saturday they came early, so I, I, every band stayed through for every band. Not every band did. But 
cool. That was a cool thing about Jimmy 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 Actually, Jimmy most of the bands that even uh, well, more of them do here than what, they do at most. Yeah, well, because they get drunk here and they don't want to yeah, go to happens. <laughs> That's been known to happen. You'll have that. Yeah. And, like, we have dr- cars parked in the driveway when I wake up in the morning sometimes. So people sleeping in them. <laughs> we did. You mentioned we mentioned a higher ground date, June thirtieth, yeah, two thousand eighteen. What is there? Anything else coming up? What's next? Where are you playing? June 9th is your uh, that, high school reunion. That's yeah, my yeah. high school. Are you playing at your own high school reunion? It's when not. It's not really. Yeah, a, did you win that? Not really. A game. We're not having an official party there, but um, a, a few years ago, they they used to do the uh, at the Windsor alumni would do their parties out at Mount Scutney, and it just got. Out of hand a few too many times, and they didn't want to huh, there anymore. So I took it upon myself to uh, talk to the owners of the station. I said, "Hey, there's nothing for people to do anymore. At least they can have this shit rock and roll band play for them, you know." Yeah. And yeah. Uh, and I have done it annually for like five years. Cool. <laughs> so it's, yeah, it's cool. That's and this year happens to be my twentieth. So I was oh, like, yeah. "How the hell with it? That's Why not have a party?" That's why Palmer the Park stayed along so long. It's like even though we don't get a big crowd some nut years, it's like yeah, I can't let it go. I've actually fought for it pretty good. We're playing the uh, North Haven Fair. That's pretty cool. Yep. We're playing yeah, that, that on Wednesday, cool July twenty fifth. Yeah, which is that's that's pretty you guys cool. Guys, right down. To We're unfortunately uh, our drummer is also a very good guitar player singer, and he has a very busy schedule this summer with side gigs and things yep. and yep. actually the, busy, we're the busy. side gig <laughs> talking about, that's not true it's an even 50 he will be uh, talking oh. about shows and like how these people are actually writing this down so <laughs> how can they look up your show Facebook hit our Facebook you. page if you want to book us Hit us up on Messenger on our Facebook page for right now. Yeah, trash I, I band handle on all Facebook. of the booking, most all of the booking, so you'll be talking to me directly. There you go. Hook Dan. Hook yeah. up with Dan. All right. So let's get on to uh, one of my favorite questions. I, none of you guys really know me. So uh, how did we meet? Best story or... Uh, <laughs> Oh, we remember meeting you once before. <laughs> true? Maybe true I story? don't remember. No, you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't remember this, that. This isn't true. This is. This, is, this was my very first uh, Spanky Payne impression, and, uh, and we came back, so you obviously nailed it. Uh, last summer, um, we came to your birthday party, uh, Seth and I, to do a, a very, very late night acoustic uh, set. I think we were doing some uh, social D stuff or something. And, I wasn't uh, there. And well, I, I, <laughs> you I, I were pulled here. Into the, I pulled into Can the parking I? lot, which is the the three cars right here. <laughs> <laughs> I pull in there, but uh, and uh, we walk out by the walk around the building here and back over by the fire, and there's a bunch of people around everywhere, hammered, and. Uh, I look up and I'm like, uh, at first I saw you, you were over here, and I walked up and tapped on your shoulder and I said, hey, I'm Dan from Road Trash, I said, uh, I'm here to play, and you looked at me and you're like, <laughs> and you just walked away, <laughs> and uh, I was like, cool, okay, so uh, I walked over and that was a and I talked really to close some, approximation, yeah, we talked, we talked to some people by the fire for a second, and then we came in and saw the bands playing, and uh, and I stepped outside for a second, and I look up, and uh, there you were, right outside the porta potty. <laughs> on your back with your knees up and your pants around your ankles <laughs> and you were yelling at your wife about I don't know something in gibberish and you were like thrown me. up all over all over there and uh, I was like okay I, Stargazing time. I can, I can hang out with this guy. <laughs> I don't drink wow. like that as much anymore. That that was very, right. that was our first impression. Right. It's it's fess up time in a way. Anything you're currently listening to for music that you wouldn't readily publicly admit right off. I listen to everything. So uh, me yeah. too. That's my excuse for listening to fucking. I you know, can like, hear your hands clap. <laughs> <laughs> Everything we all have our uh, 
little quirks. <laughs> Me more than those. Yeah, I maybe. Like, I maybe. Like, but uh, we both listen to a lot of weird shit. <laughs> I can't help but like Greta Van Fleet, but I have some issues with them because uh, they ripped off one of our songs. Yeah. And they also huh. absolutely refuse to acknowledge who Led Zeppelin is. And I'm sorry, but if you're going <laughs> to... If you're gonna look and play the part, that seems least, a bit strange. Come on, come on. You know that, but I still cannot help but like what they're doing. Yeah, That's a, they're rocking, and they're like 20 years younger than me, and it pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's that. Yeah, but uh, no, they're, they're a great bit. They've they, uh, if there's someone that will help, it's good that they're young because. They'll help revive, uh, you know. Rock is just about. Uh, <laughs> I'm a little no, I, know, I don't think some it's of gonna, it. Some of I it. I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah. They're around, but but the, the, the rock guys, later is at the ready. Exactly. Yeah, like, exactly. I'm hoping and, like us, our generation right now is making the kids better back into music, because the problem is like the guitar is, is, is becoming less and less. In less because oh, yeah. because oh, yeah. now you can write easy. everything yeah. on your little you don't have to iPad. play it. You just program it. You don't have to do anything. Like you can play drums, drums, drums yeah. and you can do you can do it all. You, you know, there's people yeah. writing no. stuff and putting it on YouTube no. every day, no. right off of there. And yeah, like those weird families doing goofy songs. They're making more money than we got. There's nothing like <laughs> fucking real guitars, Gibson, Les Paul from the '70s with Marshall amplifiers turned up, real tube amps. And real drums. That's just rock. It's made say. to be big yeah, and loud. Say. It's a hammer, and it's that. not the same if yeah. it doesn't have. It's not. Perfect. It's not a rubber hammer. And it's not perfect. It's right. not it's perfect. Never, never, We're humans, and we fly by the seat of our pants. We don't really. We practice. If if the four of us get together. Because we always have different drummers. Yeah, Seth we, and I pay a lot of fucking dues. Every other fucking week, every weeknight, like like Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday, and yeah. he works in Manchester Music Mill, so he has to drive like an hour and a half every day, and we just we want it to it's work, tough life. so we're always juggling all the stuff. My fiance, thank God, is loving enough to let me do this in our dining room. <laughs> like yeah, the yeah. kitchen tables in the corner, there is shit everywhere and the wires and amplifiers and cats and fucking I don't it, yeah. shit I know I, uh, but my living room is a bicycle shop. Yeah. It's, hey, it's not a living room. It is but we, a bike shop. We practice like maybe once every two months as a whole. Well, we have that we play shows. We so. haven't played drink, fuck, and fight in how long? <laughs> and, like we years, right. yeah. and we it's played it right? And we played it tonight yeah. for the first like time. And like, yeah, it's, it's, I picked it. Wow, that's <laughs> why I I'm surprised love, to hear that. It was really that's good. That's why I love this band so much. Is because we do what we do without looking at each other, without uh, by the seat of the pants. Yep. We just walk in. Hey, how you doing? Throw it on and. Well, there's, there's been times where these guys have gotten together. I haven't been at the practice. Dan will message me and go, He lives yeah. 45 minutes away. Yeah. So. Learn, uh, we learned right. this tonight. We threw this uh, we'll other. play it on the weekend. So just, it's like, be okay. Be ready for that. And, yeah. And we do it. Yeah. It, well, it just works. <laughs> you mentioned Manchester Music Mail. Day yeah. job. Yeah. Day job. I'm a musician, man. I play full time. Full time musician. Full-time. I'm a bum. Bum. Day day bum. I'm a prep cook. Musician. I'm a prep cook. And prep cook. I try to. How run. do you get a nightlife with a prep cook? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, yeah. luckily, I, I I do a good amount of work in like a half a day. I work like like five hour days. Perfect. So it's yeah. It's enough. It, and, and luckily, I have Mondays off. So if I do this because I'm, uh, I have it's uh, just years and years of doing this has just yeah. Me well, severe. You I don't follow sleep. your I don't sleep. You know, yeah. thir- Friday I get up at like six o'clock in the morning on Friday, and if we have gigs, I'll go play the gig. I won't go to bed until like six or seven in the morning, and I'll sleep like two hours and get up. And then I'll just be my mental clock will be just screwed for the whole weekend. Yep. So I'll just yep. stay up till like five or six the next morning just because. Yeah. And then 
Monday comes around and I am just total Shock. junk. <laughs> wait, wait, Monday? Really? Yes, total junk. So, and Mondays, uh, we have another friend that we used to play in a band with and I still get to go up and, and I work on things with him and he's got very nice gear and he's always into learning new things and, and we hang out, which is pretty cool. And uh, often we end up taking trips down to Music Mill for repairs or to see Seth or to buy more frickin' gear. <laughs> more the never ending, gear. Yep. The never-ending pit of doom, which more is paradise to some of us. But Bernie got a day job? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what's it all about? Uh, work at Simon Pierce. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Up, in, up in Windsor. That's where Class, I'm at this class works. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool, cool place. Yeah. Nice. Anything you guys want to say to your fans, to your potential fans? To I'm the... sorry. <laughs> I'm serious. <seeing us. laughs> if you're going to do anything, please, please come to higher ground. You won't be disappointed. There you go. June Burlington, 30th. Vermont. South Burlington, Burlington line. Uh, the, uh, higher ground. I'm not saying for our sake. Come, come see Scissor Fight and Mer come see Marcelago because those guys are awesome. Explain it. And come see us because... We're awesome. You know. Yeah. yeah. Like to lay it down. I can attest. I can attest. Like to lay it down. Yep. And it'd I'll be, be seeing nice you to again. Be, it, it's nice to, for once to not be in the corner of some bar, you know. Like, oh, yeah. Jam, yeah. Right no, sweet we dig, actually green have a stage room, where we can time. jump. And no, no. I started working at the Windsor Station four years ago, like as of this past Friday. And uh, the Saturday, I started on a Tuesday. And the Saturday night before, we played there, and I had one of those wireless systems, so I was all cool, and I was... Just a crowd roamer. Drank a lot of Sailor Jerry, and uh, I was feeling courageous, and I, I thought it'd be cool to get up on that bar and walk <laughs> across it and cannonball into Did the Did you know you crowd. were going to be starting working there at this point? Excuse me? Did you know that you were about to start working there? I was well aware. Yeah. And uh, I got up on First the bar, impressions. Waltzed across there in my old gold top. And uh, I bailed off. And uh, on my guitar, I have these uh, eye, like, hooks. eye hooks. Like a, like you'd hold the dog to the house, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I use those. And uh, that fucking thing came down and drilled me right on top of the kneecap. Like, ha! I mean, not 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 like it's out, that pain like, perspective it thing. It dropped again. me <laughs> to the ground. <laughs> he was and, gipping for and a and I, gipped, note, huh? I started that Tuesday, and I gipped for over a month before wow. I could even yeah, but the best like, thing, walk he, on both feet. It, it was when the, he landed. <laughs> in the oh. middle of the song we landed he turns and he's video. like looking at me he goes I just yeah. hurt myself <laughs> it is, it is. Like, that is yeah, obvious, yeah. Yeah. obvious. Yeah. Yeah. you see me go down I come back up but like I'm there for a second it was like oh it was awful that was the, just a oh, yeah. dumbass move night. man crack, dumb crack, ass. crack my kneecap once crashing a dirt bike oh. yeah, it was a special searing kind yeah, of yeah you're on a dirt bike you didn't hurt yourself because of a fucking guitar no no it was not <laughs> I, I got a whole new meaning to yeah, yeah my, my cousin my sleep. cousin was playing bass in the band he did Seven Barrel Brewery in West Lebanon uh <laughs> We were like, we weren't even playing. No, yet. we were setting up. He's setting up his bass, da -da -da -da, walks around, trips over the leg of the bass drum, and goes down hard, face first, and smashes his nose and forehead on one of the fucking bass drum lugs and busted himself like wide open. Yeah. Like, Right, Did he play? Um, a minute before we're, so we're starting to play, he's got blood running down his face, and we start. Oh, good. Hey, that's he fucking Rock and Roll. Yeah. Oh, no, he, he Iron Man did yeah. it. That's the way you gotta do it. Props yeah. to Ryan. That he's, was. He's standing there. Am I bleeding? And I'm <laughs> laughing like a lot. Yeah. 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 Considerably. Sure yeah. were. <laughs> that was pretty good. I bet I you guys awesome. remembered that night by the, the few that were there. <laughs> Like you said, it 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 was painful for him, but it was fucking hilarious. Matter <laughs> of perspective. Yeah. Too bad that ain't on video. Yeah, my Okay, so we're gonna smoke this and head out. All right. Wrap this stuff uh, up. Thank you for having so us. So make sure you uh, check them out on Facebook. Very cool. 
Uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Yeah, do that. And anybody else Hope you guys had a good time. Hope you guys had a good time. I know I did. We definitely Thank you, always does. Good game. Good game. Yeah, I got good friends. Game. Good hustle. I got friends. Good game, for sure. Yeah, thanks, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And uh, make sure you go see them <laughs> at <laughs> Higher Ground. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget our sponsors. <laughs> don't forget the dance party. And you can put your ad in the this show. Very cheap. Your ad <laughs> placed here. Bye. All right, go don't, ahead. don't spell it wrong, Bernie. Oh, now the pressure's on. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah. Look at that geriatric writing. It's awesome. Creep <laughs> Jesus. How do you spell road track? Uh, How do you spell band? <laughs> yeah, how do you spell band? <laughs> It's like band aid without an A. No A's. A's. Hope you bring it in, bro. Whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, except for herpes, man. That shit will come back. <laughs> Tell me more. No, no, that's it. No, that's it. No, that's it. Bloopers. What do you got? What do you got? Big friends. Yeah. Hey, you can't get hurt twice. No. I, I don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe that. I think you can get it more than once. No, no, no. Yeah, you're, he's but driving. Burnt toast. Burnt toast. There you go. Thank you. Everybody, say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. There's a delay. <laughs> oh. whoa, 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 whoa. Well, they're taping. There's Don't a delay. Oh, yeah. big one. It was strange. I saw shit, and there was uns un un I saw all sorts of weird yeah. shit. Unexplainable things that were wonderful but weird. What really fucked with me was that there was this uh, like hippie jam band playing down on the stage. This is that thing why we started the band. We play. It's a weekend long camp out, and uh, it's up near where the old bread and puppet. Yeah. Uh, festivals used to be up yeah. in Glover, and uh, yeah, it's just up the road. There's like three or four bands that play on the Saturday night. Labor Day's on Monday, so we're the Sunday night, like the final right. grand finale band, yeah. and uh, we're like sitting in these chairs around this fire, about fifty yards from the stage, full fucking balls out, tripping like oh, crazy, <laughs> and this hippie jam band's playing like. <laughs> And, the, and they have this fucking laser light show oh, yeah, yeah, that is like 10,000 fucking lights with spinners and fucking strobes and all this fucking insane things going a thousand miles an hour. Right. And it had... No, that was the buzz. It was only like... No, it did right, not belong. <laughs> it did flash not belong with yeah. the fucking music at all. And it was screwing with me so badly. I was like... <laughs> Every every two minutes, you look, and, and the way I was sitting in the chair, there's like no avoiding it. I mean, it's like right in your face. But uh, that messed with me so bad. You pick his head up and be like, look at those fucking lights. <laughs> <laughs> I used to but participate then, oh, in these uh, South American religious ceremonies involving hallucinogenics, ayahuasca, and peyote, and things like that. And one Yikes. time, uh, <laughs> yeah. it was, you know, you get really lost in it. We're in a teepee, a huge teepee. It's, uh, it's yeah. bigger around than the garage. Oh, yeah. is. Yeah. And that that's a late back, teepee, We're all in a circle man. around the edge of the teepee. There's like 30 of us. And I, I usually kneel and you try to stay in the same position all the time. But I had to lay back. And I'm laying back, but I could see everybody as if the whole ground was like tilted up about 30 degrees and i'm like yeah there they are and everything but there's the top of the tv i shouldn't be able to see them and i sit up and I'm like, oh, nope, they're no. all normal the ground's level and everything and i lay back down and check it out again and oh there they are again i'm like this is fucking badass <laughs> <laughs> and then i went into a porta pot i had to take a piss like halfway through the night at the same night and uh, i walked over the porta potty Oh, <laughs> it's about a hundred yards from the oh, from where we're yeah, camping, and, yeah. and it's dark, and I'm like in there, and I was I was like so freaked out. I sat down to pee. I'm like sitting there, <laughs> and I'm just like I just like got my hand on oh, my head. Bad. And I'm just like, man, this is this is intense <laughs> shit, you know, and. uh I hear this mumbling from this guy. Oh, no, 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 I'll be right there. Blah blah blah. I fucking slam 
this heavy door and I hear this and I'm like oh fuck here we go all I'm thinking is I'm hanging on for dear life some dude is gonna take me for a ride I'm gonna get fucking covered in blue juice this is gonna suck and shit and I'm just like bracing for it you know I'm sitting there and the fucking truck is running for like 15 minutes he just let it run next to me and I'm like waiting in like any second and finally he just like I hear it. Just left. No I stood up and I'm like, No, no, Jack. What in the? Do you realize how fucking dumb and fucked up you are right now? <laughs> you don't even know what the hell. What the hell are you thinking? Who the hell would do that? What have you not seen?